Farmers are on track for their most profitable year on record thanks to good weather and high prices. The value of all that is grown on Aussie farms is expected to tip $73 billion this financial year, up from $59 billion just four years ago. Here's National Rural Reporter Kath Sullivan. For this grain grower, 2021 is out of the box. Bumper would be the um, best word, I would suppose. One for the record books. Rarely do we get the double of good prices and a good season, but it looks like we're going to this year. Livestock producers too are having a blinder. It is great to see so much more confidence in the industry. High prices at this bull sale, another sign that things are good. It's just wonderful to see at last that there is a bit of a light at the end of the tunnel. It's a great time to be a farmer. It's a great time to be in our amazing industry. The reason? It's really being driven by uh, pretty exceptional seasonal conditions. And exceptional prices pushed up by drought in the Northern Hemisphere. When there's a disaster, a weather disaster in another country, particularly one of our competitors, then um, it is a good thing for us. Livestock, cropping and horticulture are delivering strong, if not record, farm gate returns. And while almost three quarters of what Australia grows is sold overseas, local fruit and veg prices are expected to remain steady, while more sheep and cattle being bred could even see some prices fall. That should hopefully take some of the pressure out of what we've seen in the red meat prices that you see in the supermarket. The crop's not in the silo yet, but all signs point to a record-breaking $73 billion year for farmers. It won't be without its challenges. There's a difficult trade relationship with China, expensive freight costs, a worker shortage and the weather still to navigate. We can't expect really that, you know, a run of good seasons to continue forever. For now though, this farmer is making the most of it. Seeing good crops waving in the breeze is most enjoyable. It's just one of those once in a lifetime seasons. Hopefully not once in a lifetime, hopefully I'll see a couple more. Kath Sullivan, ABC News, Canberra.